hey guys this is developer dude and in the previous video we have designed this section this hidden section so now it's time to write javascript code so let's get started now create a new file with the name of tesla.js so create the new file here is our html file this is our javascript file and this is our css file so now i did some css code so let's write down here actually inside now i did this code so write opacity zero and translate x to the 320 pixels Control save and let's check out what happened when we these codes Okay, so this hidden section got hidden. So now this blur effect, remove this blur effect for this. We have to write here display none. Control save. Refresh. And here it is. So now we have to write JavaScript code. When we click on that hidden section show up and that blurs. So we write the JavaScript code here. So when we click on blur, the blur got an active class. Display block and uh, hidden section so when we click on menu so dot hidden side got active and this active will show transform translate x zero and opacity one okay opacity one control save so now write here the javascript code now create a const main is equal to document dot query selector okay dot main one so this main one making this header and this id okay no the main one is the header and main one is here you can see this is the main one so when this we are targeting this one in query selector okay so now write code for the arrow so const remove this arrow now write the codes for the now write the code for const menu is equal to document dot query selector so same as it is query selector and now control c and write here hash menu because we have id in header so we are targeting this this menu okay this anchor tag now control v so change this to cross and here the dot fa x mark so in the hidden section this is the icon which we are targeting okay now again control v so now target blur dot blur so you know we are targeting the blur div here so right here blur okay now blurs okay so right here side and this is the hidden side of this is our hidden side so dot actually on side okay now control save and the most important thing that we have to uh, attach this script file our html so script Tesla.js control save okay now here we start writing the codes so let's now target new dot add event listener so when we click on it the function will run so this is our arrow function now write the function for blurs dot class list dot add active okay when we click on it when we click on menu so the blur got the class added in it and the side got class list dot add active okay now save this let's check out here refresh okay so this is our menu click on it and here it is you can see this comes out but when we click on it this is not working because we didn't write the javascript code so let's write the javascript code for this so now when we click 
So we have to click on cross. So cross dot add event listener. So when we click on it, a function will run. Blurs dot class list dot remove active. Okay. This will remove that active class from blur and decide dot class list dot remove active when we click on cross it will remove active class from blur and side so when this active class removed the translate will be 320 pixels x axis and the blur got display none because active class got removed so save it check it out refresh so this is our page click on the menu it comes out when we click on cross it go it's gone okay comes out gone so here it is now now look at this you can see here that we are have written the code javascript code for this but we didn't write code for this that uh, got changed and this login got changed so for writing before writing JavaScript code for this we have to change some classes in HTML. So let's write the HTML code first So when we open this main tool right here Give it a, another class name head one. Okay head one and give it another class login one. Okay do this with all of the main two divs. Okay, so this one is give it head two and login two because we will focus on them separately so we have to write we have to give them a different class so login three and uh, now targeting this one so head four and uh, now login four so wrap it head five login five head six and login six this will help us in javascript codes okay now write the css code for these h head one and head two and login one login two so now write css code for this now write dot head okay opacity zero okay now every div which have head class got opacity zero means disappear so our head gone got disappeared this one this one every every head got disappeared so now target the first one div you can see this one div head one so i give this a separate class so now write the head one okay head one opacity one and transition all 1.5 seconds okay now dot head to control c control v now targeting all the heads with their separate class names five and six now give them opacity zero and transition all okay now focus on login so login opacity zero okay opacity zero now for the first div dot login one opacity one and transition all 1.5 seconds okay now again same as that one so dot login one control C control V two no 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 this should be two three four five and six okay now write this opacity zero transition transition all one point five seconds and z index
one. Okay. Now create our active class. Opacity one and create another class hide opacity zero. Okay. Save it. Refresh. You can see no heading is showing, no login, no heading, anything here, nothing is here. So here is the heading, custom order, existing inventory. This is our menu bar. So on these divs, the heading is not showing and that custom order is not showing because we have hide them. We have already hidden them. So we will continue writing JavaScript code. If you enjoyed this video, then give a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe the channel, please do subscribe. Goodbye.